I don't believe that she should even be running alongside the fact that the terrible history that they have. Yes. And who would want Bill Clinton in office a second time doing the same stuff he was doing before, philandering uh, with women? I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. I don't understand how she has the balls actually to think that she could get away with, with doing it with all the scandal and stuff that has been behind their name, the Clintons. I don't understand how she can even think that she would have a chance. I'm getting ready to do something too. I'm running for president and I hope you'll join me on this journey. It's a horrible decision, I think. I mean, he doesn't even have a right to be in the White House to serve the people the way he did women and, and sexual harassed women and accosted women. There was many women that come out that yeah. spoke about what he did uh, to them, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't have a place there in the White House to um, serve the American people. In a deposition in January, I was asked questions about my relationship with Monica Lewinsky. While my answers were legally accurate, I did not volunteer information. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. I believe she knew all about it. Yeah. I believe she knew it. Just like I said, it was a political relationship that they had. It wasn't a normal, average um, marriage. Americans have fought their way back from tough economic times, but the deck is still stacked in favor of those at the top. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. She didn't even stand up for the women that knew what her husband did, and she knew what her husband did to those women. She, there's no way that she did not know that, and she's not a, definitely not a, a woman of, 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 the, of women that were abused or, or accosted by her husband. I believe that what Mr. Clinton did to me was wrong. And I have no regrets whatsoever. I mean, I'm just living a normal life. And, you know, the truth came out. Mm -hmm. um, he settled, actually. You know, I can't tell you that it wasn't fun to be pampered over <laughs> makeup people and hair people. That Yeah, that was fun because it was something I wasn't used to. But, hey, that just came along with me being in this terrible vortex of, of the a political um, mess is what it was. How would you feel if she was in the White House if next year, you know, she was I don't see year? how that's possible. I would be scared. I would be scared for me, for my family, for for everybody. I mean, she's just not capable, I don't think, as far as being even a woman that has had such a terrible history and lies and uh, the, being a crook. I mean, she lied and said that when they come out of the White House, they were broke. Mm. How in the world could they be broke coming out of the White House? And they had all these d deals going on and book deals. And um, it, she's, they're just not truthful people. And, and it's just, it's been a history of knowing that they're not truthful people. I wouldn't believe anything. I, d I don't know for sure what she wants to run for, mm. unless it's just an ego thing. I would just ask him, why couldn't he just fess up and tell the truth? Because he knew it happened. Yeah. And, you know, be a man. Just, just, you know what? It would have been a different story if he had to just fessed up and tell the truth. So I apologize for what happened. And everything would have been over with. Very simple. Mm. And he can't even do that, but he can run the country and mm. his wife can.